In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create connections and how to deploy our game. Alright, so the final thing that you'll want to do for your games is to create a connection and then to deploy it so that way you can share it with your friends and begin testing. So to get started, we'll need to create or actually bring up just a couple of windows. I'm going to go over here to the property editor and add a new tab. We're going to add the connections tab as well as the deployer tab. Now under connections, you'll see that by default you have your PC connection to your local host. Um, that's what we're going to use for this particular project. Um, but if we had a device that we wanted to connect to, so let's say maybe an Android device or an iOS device, um, if you have an Xbox One or a PS4 uh, development kit, you could also connect to those devices. To connect to a device, you'll need to add one. So you'll simply add a target, and then the new target that's been created, you'll expand it, give it a name, and then also select the platform. So if you wanted to export or de uh, deploy out to Android, you could select the Android, and then you would need to set up your connection. You would do that by hitting Connect to Device. Now, um, also you'd want to check, so that way you could run your project on the Android itself. Um, seeing how I'm not going to do that, I don't actually have an Android device to connect to, but uh, we'll need to go over to Deployer and set up some things there as well. So if you were going to deploy over to your Android, um, you would set up where you want the destination to be what kind of configuration it's going to be. So it could be debug, development, or release. And then you would package your project for the Android. You would give it its title, um, the identity of that, so your identifier, what version it is, and then any icons that you would want to apply to that. Now, it, whenever you begin to add that to the store, you're going to need some signing information and all of that. And you would have to go to the Android developer website to get all of that information. Um, same thing for iOS. Um, you would have to set up a packaging server address. You would have to generate an engine um, IPA. And uh, you would have to install that on um, the iOS device, whether that be your iPhone or iPad. Um, and then also the PS4 and the Xbox One. Um, you have to basically set up uh, those packages and set up for the, um, that kit. So for us, just to make things easy, we're going to go with the Windows Deployer you would just basically set up a destination where you want your .exe file to save and then you would give it a title and then simply hit package project for Windows. When you do that it's going to create a .exe file and you can open that and you can play it in its own separate window and then you could also share that with friends and start getting feedback on your own games. So that's a quick start to Stingray we have looked through lots and lots of different features of Stingray. There's so much more to dive into, but I hope I've given you enough to begin experimenting and to get up and running with, quick, uh, with Stingray very, very quickly. So I hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you guys next time.